Hi everyone, this is Christina and this presentation is intended as some general information about ASEA, redox signaling and autism. As always, I want to kick off by saying that ASEA redox is not intended to be used as a medication. It is not there to cure or treat any condition and we're definitely not promoting it as a medication or a cure. However, it is very important um, to understand, once you understand the modality and how ASEA redox works, that we know that ASEA has a capacity to trigger a certain level of repair and regeneration in our bodies. And in doing so, it may positively positively impact some health con conditions and concerns. And one of those health conditions and concerns that has come up very frequently is the subject of autism. And um, uh, the slides that I'm about to share with you come from a presentation that Dr. Gary Samuelson, who is accredited uh, as the person who developed redox signaling uh, solution as SEA, he presented this at the Autism One conference and it uh, his presentation lasted an hour. I'm not at all going to dive into the amount of detail that he went into. He is a medical atomic scientist. I am not, but I do want to go through some of the highlights of why we have seen so many families getting such great results, so many kids seeing benefits when they begin to supplement with redox signaling. And what are those benefits? Let's just get, get straight to it. We're seeing families report uh, in, improvements in behavior, improvements in concentration, eye contact, uh, reduction in sensitivities and sensibilities, um, and improvement in general health and well-being. But especially um, we're seeing people in, in education, such as their teachers and their social peers, of children with autism just report some wonderful changes, social changes. Um, and we can um, we can extrapolate from the information that we know, we can guess at how that um, um, mode of, um, how, the, how the redox molecule supplementation is operating and how that is impacting, uh, what is the, the way that this is operating inside a person's body. Um, but we don't have those studies. We haven't done a strict study on ASEA redox signaling as a supplement and autism, but we can talk about redox signaling in a general way, what we know about redox signaling in the body and therefore how this technology and having more redox in your body can give benefits to a person with autism. Now, firstly, um, we already have a pandemic. Why is this subject so important? Because there is a pandemic right now of um, the amount of people being diagnosed with autism, and it is largely children. But um, autism spectrum disorders, in the year 2000, one out of 148 uh, children were diagnosed with ASD. In 2016, it was around one out of 50. Those numbers have continued to climb and, and climb and climb again. And if we continue to see these trends, it'll be one person, one child in every family will have autism. And that would be really, really hard and really, really sad, especially when it's uh, potentially preventable or fixable. And why do I say that? Because we know that there has to be environmental factors triggering such a pandemic of autism. Why? Because if it were purely genetic factors, um, we wouldn't see that kind of growth. Uh, when we look at the growth in the population, it is around 1.2%, but the growth of ASD uh, is 6.7%. That is a significant difference. Uh, and it tells us that something has to be triggering. Uh, possibly what people may say is that in terms of genetics, maybe some people have a predisposition, but it does not explain the growth. So environmental factors, we could be talking about things such as um, exposure to toxins or medications. We've seen that in animals. Uh, and there is a very strong correlation between heavy metal toxicity and autism. So why is redox signaling? Why is a SEA, uh, and particularly why is a redox signaling in your system able to help reduce um, what is the way that it is going to help with the symptoms um, and the presentation of autism? Well, we know that redox is going to help the body detox so if, if we are actually talking about the implication of heavy metals or some kind of other toxicity, 
A CA redox is going to help us detox. It's going to help us regulate inflammation, reduce oxidation, help the body regenerate and accelerate communication, and also help us manage those genetic switches. Now, for those of you that don't know, uh, redox signaling molecules are something that our body already has inside each and every cell. They are produced by the mitochondria and they are made up of the atoms that comprise water and salt. That is why when you go to the hospital, the very first thing you'll be given is saline because it is really the solution of life. We are bathed in saline water. Our cells are floating around in saline and they are um, they have saline inside of them. And from water and salt, we take those four atoms, hydrogen, oxygen, sodium chloride, and we're producing constantly uh, an array of redox signaling molecules. And let's just jump ahead to see what they do. What they're doing, they're protecting, they're creating an environment that acts essentially as a shield for the damage. So this is um, this is a, a nucleus. For example, you've got a healthy cell, you've got mitochondria, we're looking inside a cell here. And um, antioxidants act as a shield to protect the DNA, to keep your cells healthy. And that uh, is a very important um, point to make because it is redox signaling reactions that activate antioxidants. So when somebody says to me, what is redox doing in the body? It is protecting, it is helping regenerating, and it is helping um, with repair. So we need this. This is a process that's going on in our body all the time. Protection, regeneration, and repair is happening all the time. And it is healthy, um, our healthy stability of redox signaling molecules that is going to protect and keep our health, our cells healthy. When they're not healthy, when they become damaged, it's basically oxidative stress is like a smoke. And this is a, a excess of reactive oxygen species, what you might have heard of it being called oxidative stress, actually damages your DNA or the DNA of your cells. And this is where we can see things emerge like cancer, like diabetes, when you've got prolonged amount of oxidative stress. And it basically means that your redox signaling molecules are out of balance. And so the redox, um, the redox production needs to be uh, um, activated so that there is a restoration of some kind of equilibrium. And there are a lot of oxidative therapies right now that are there to stimulate the production of more redox signaling molecules. You may have heard of them, such as ozone therapy, phototonic therapy, hydrogen peroxide, hyperbaric oxygen, EMF frequency, pulsed EMF, uh, chlorine dioxide, and redox complexes like ASEA redox. Why they're there is they're essentially there to help our cells reinstate that balance that we're talking about. Because the secret to health is healthy cells. We are a diverse and complex structure, our body, but essentially it is grouped into tissues which come down to a certain types of cells which have complex molecules and interconnecting all those complex molecules is water and in that water is this bath of si signaling molecules. They are responsible for all the communication. So it's not that your body cannot heal you. It's that your body isn't getting the right amount of signals. So if we move right along, we've seen in many examples uh, in clinical trials and just observing nature that whenever repair is happening, such as um, this little tadpole, when its tail is cut off, whenever repair is happening, you see an influx of redox signaling molecules. And we now know that this, this surge of reactive oxygen species redox signaling is required for tissue regeneration. So what we're doing with the sea of redox, well, we're basically bringing back into your cells, each one of these, these squares is a cell, we're bringing, we're infusing balanced redox signaling back into your tissues. So the cells that are damaged can neutralize themselves, can neutralize the damage, and you can reach a healthy equilibrium. Why is this important in autism? Well, we know that in autism, this many cells are damaged and there is a known chemical imbalance. We've been able to see abnormal brain physiology, such as myelin damage, liquid pockets, overstimulation of emotional centers, abnormal, abnormal intestinal physiology, such as inflammation, leaky gut, uh, mitochondria irregularities, 
we know that we can create these, um, we can create stability and repair, detect where the damage is, regenerate tissues and rebalance chemistry, which is so important in autism. Um, we can do that just simply th through reintroducing what your body already has. Now you might say, well, I'm very careful with what I give my child. And I know that to be a fact, my nephew has autism and I myself am a mother of seven boys, seven kids. Um, so, you know, I, I really do, um, really am very careful what I give my children. And I understand having a child on the spectrum in our family, um, especially how sensitive their system can be. I want to remind you right now that redox signaling molecules already exist in the body. They are inside our cells. So thankfully, when you are supplementing with redox, when you're giving this to a child, there is absolutely nothing that can go off balance because you are not introducing an unknown substance. This is, this is bioavailable, but beyond that, it is native to the body. So even our six-month-old drinks redox because I know it's safer than, than even the, the, the purees that I might be feeding him. Redox signaling molecules belong in his cells and they help stabilize his cells. So what's it going to do? It's going to reduce oxidative stress. That's the reason why we all need it, not just uh, kids with autism. Everybody can reduce oxidative stress. It's going to normalize the immune response, normalize hormonal balance, normalize brain chemistry. This is a big one. Optimize metabolic pathways. That's another big one. Open detox channels. That's another big one in autism. Facilitate tissue repair. Again, important damage detection and optimizing cell function. Now we have seen uh, the, the impact of, um, of redox on so many families. And the reason Dr. Gary Samuelson came to the World Autism Conference and presented all these studies in much more detail, and you can go and listen to his actual talk, the reason he came was not because he was invited by the scientific community. It was actually because of the amount of families with kids with autism that had seen significant changes. And they said, you need to talk to other families about this. Our kids are having such breakthroughs. Can you come and talk to, to other families about redox signaling? Um, and for that reason, I really would encourage you to go to a page like um, on Facebook, like ASEA Healthy Self, the person that sent you this video, ask them to send you some testimonies to connect you with other families. We're absolutely passionate about getting the word out about this breakthrough. And if you are uh, about to launch and, and, and you're still sort of thinking, you know, is, is, is this some kind of a marketing um, new buzzword, uh, is this a product that um, that my doctor would know or recommend? Uh, here is some, something that I want you to do to give yourself reassurance. Go to the medical publications portal, which is called PubMed, and Google the words redox and autism, redox and autism. And you can do that for redox and diabetes or redox and anything you want. What you're going to see, such as in this example, that there are over 60,000 results. What that tells you, what that told me as a mum, is that this wasn't just something that somebody had cooked up in the back of their base, you know, in the back of their garage or in a basement somewhere. This is a legitimate field of science. And the reason most of us will not hear about it from our doctors is because it is breakthrough and it is new. And unless your doctor's going through university right now in the last five years or in the last 10 years, this product wasn't even available. There is only one redox signaling product on the market, and that's been created by ASEA in their laboratories in Utah. So most doctors don't know about it, but that doesn't mean that doctors are not using this. We have an ASEA medical board, which includes uh, surgeons, includes medical doctors, osteopathic doctors, natural doctors, includes an array of people that are in the medical community that are so excited about what this breakthrough can do. So give yourself some reassurance. Now with kids, you can start on less than two ounces a day, but this is what's normally recommended, two ounces twice a day. Um, the person who invited you here can help you work out how much product you need and how you do what you need to do to order it. But it really will uh, be dependent on um, how much damage your child has. Uh, and, and the only way to know is to really start with something small. So. Usually with children, we say start with 30 mil twice a day. 
that's usually enough to hopefully start seeing um, uh, more support and offering their system more support. And as you're going to hear from people uh, sharing their testimonies, this is a lady called Maria who has three kids on the spectrum and she's just absolutely uh, such an advocate for a sea of redox because it's made such a difference in her family. Once you start listening to other people, to other parents, to other individuals who have seen these breakthroughs and experienced them for themselves, you'll see that it's not immediate. This is not a drug. This is not a medication that you take and in half an hour it's going to take away a headache. Um, it's not going to create some kind of an artificial false buffer. Redox signaling will actually re-equilibrate re and recalibrate the body and help restore normal real health. The real health that we're talking about happens at the cellular level and it takes time. So if you started with your child on 30 mils twice a day, I would not expect to see anything for a few weeks. By about the first month, you want to start to see some positive differences, some, some shifts. Now, some people will see them that very first week, that very first day, but I like to create an expectation that it may well take longer and if it was my child, I would definitely stay on this for three to six months to give their little bodies a real chance to detox, regenerate, and start to see some of these true benefits of a SEA redox. Well, thank you so much for listening. And I look forward to coming back to you with secrets of our health with a different topic soon.